It's first time in his career he had to organize a sleepover last night in his office to make sure he would get up for the game. It is early, but we are so happy to be here. ACC basketball against SEC basketball doesn't get better than this. MJ Walker, first jumper of the game, missed. And that is what, to me, impressed me so much about Florida State against Indiana. That eight, though, Chris, of Florida State, statistically, they're the nation's fourth tallest teams. They've got two players, seven foot or better. Uh, Ingom comes off the bench, and the 6'11", Quincy Ballard as well. You have an advantage, and that's what his teams do. They play hard, so he uses that length, that athleticism, uh, stylistically. And the Gators leading 6-2. to two. Another turnover forced by the Gators. Foul before the shot. He's making it look easy. You know, and I think if you opened up his brain, you'd see wires crossing and sparks flying probably. Oh. It's great conversion there. Johnson with the strong finish off the assist from Appleby. Johnson with the alley-oop. Well, they are kicking Florida State's butt down back, converting off of pressure, turnovers. Florida State is on quite a scoring drought at the moment. It's been a while since they've put the ball in the bucket. And changing that right away is Anthony Polite. See Florida trying to play much faster this year and press. Barnes knocks down the three. I understand playing fast. It can't be at the expense of turning the ball over or, or taking quick bad shots. Shot missed by Lewis, but the stick back is very much good. Lover on the inside putting it back, and that left an opening for Florida State to just run down and grab the layup easily. Raquan Evans. The evaluation by coaches of some of their guys had good summers, some didn't. Koper Vietza, one of those guys, very productive, came back a much better player. Sended up that scouting report, guys in who have been in the program but are in new roles this year. And so offense so far oh, nice moves there underneath. Seven feet, two inches tall from Senegal to play some college basketball up at Ryerson University in Canada. Three on the way and good by Appleby. And Walker's one of the, the key pieces to this team that he hopes to have fresh late in the season. Polite with the three. Predict both of these conferences going into seasons because of how much talent has left for that draft excellent shot knocked down in the corner by number 31 Florida State again uh, they like to have a rotation of at least 10 players Barnes on the drive and the short runner is good Wilkes always looking for a shot Passes this time to Polite, and Polite knocks down another three from that same spot. Florida State has scored 17 unanswered points. As Lewis changes it, and one. Timeout by Florida. The shot quality, it, it comes down to that and taking better care of the basketball for Florida State. Florida State is red hot right now. Florida State's made seven straight shots as the Gators try to deal with that. Here's Glover, and Glover takes it all the way. Currently the athletic director at Duke, his younger brother Danny's the AD at UCF, another brother Brian at Florida Atlantic is the AD. There's a three knocked down by Locke in the corner. He said he wasn't smart enough to be an AD. I was going to say, what, what happened to Mike? Fell <laughs> off the AD wagon, decided to become a coach. Barnes with a he nice one-on-one -on -one move. Florida State picked to finish third behind Virginia and Duke, but it is so hard to predict this year. Oh, oh my goodness! Barnes! Alive! Put the children to bed, folks, because that is <laughs> nasty! Oh my goodness, Colin Castleton has a family! He is, you know... He has put on a show here in the first half with some dramatic, highlight-worthy plays. And Florida calmly answers on the other end, Scotty Lewis. Barnes again. It's there, and 
He draws the foul. It's the Scotty Barnes show, everyone. Part of that two-headed monster they have on the interior of Florida, he and Colin Castleton. Nice move by Polite. He's a good standstill shooter there. He takes it off the bounce. A guy who speaks three languages. Speaking three languages, Sam. Italian, French, and English. And as somebody who struggles to speak one, I got mad respect for Anthony Polite. <laughs> Gumbramita with the dunk inside. Uh, they deserved it. Th this was one of the teams last year that I felt really bad for that the tournament was canceled. It felt bad for a guy like Leonard Hamilton. Oh, who's... <laughs> Walker. Nice pass. The unselfishness of Walker results in that jam. We apologize for the technical difficulties we've had as that makes a three-pointer, another three-pointer for Florida State. They have made seven in this game. We've had some audio and visual problems in this uh, new way of broadcasting basketball, but it hasn't wow. bothered Florida State as Barnes highlight reel. And the Gators trying to end this scoring drought. Trey Mann will take it in and finish. Consume you when you get in there as a ball handler. Oh, nice movement, and Barnes is the recipient for, for Coach Hamilton, and uh, the rest is history. So Coach Hamilton said he and Jimmy V have, were lifelong friends until uh, cancer so uh, cruelly took the life of one of the Bright stars in humanity, Jimmy Valvano. For who you were, he made you feel like you were the most special person in the world to him at that moment. Gators trying to fight back. Castleton with a nice move in the paint. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really tough to prepare for. And, you know, particularly with how young the game has trended, like the, the brighter the lights, the better MJ Walker plays. You mentioned Trent Forrest. He signed a, a two-way NBA contract. Forrest uh, signed that two-way contract with the Jazz, and that will count. Niles Lane in the game for the first time, number 44 in white. He's a freshman out of New Jersey. Wilkes knocks it down. They call him the best shooter on the team. High school highlights from last year. He is uh, he's chiseled this year. So Provinza has it swatted away. <laughs> it's pretty common. I, I know uh, when I go to Australia every year for tennis now, obviously they speak English. Uh, there's a three knocked down on the wing by Appleby. Florida State uh, failing to convert in its half-court offense. Ooh, and the runner finish. off the glass. Goodbye, man. What a finish. And that's his best asset, his ability to drive, beat his man, the former McDonald's All-American, off the off foot for Trey Mann. And then how about this? My goodness. Barnes on the drive, misses. And Florida, a chance to chip into this Florida State lead, which is 15. Lewis has had a career day today. Nice pass and the nice. finish by Mann. Heads up pass by Scotty Barnes. for the dunk. Man misses the three. Castleton with the offensive rebound and put back. I know a lot of you interested in the Syracuse-Boston College game. That's coming up next. Three on the way is good from Noah Locke. The two, both those teams very good. So Virginia Tech losing to Penn State, not a good look. But both those teams have a chance to be much improved this season. Barnes continues to add to his total and put this team on his shoulders. No one competed, but they would have been a top four seed. Castleton with the dunk. But stable condition in the Tallahassee Memorial Hospital after collapsing on court in the first half. So our thoughts and prayers are with Johnson and his family in this Gator program.